we received a new product from M5 Stack and it's called as M5 Atom Echo and well this is the smallest smart speaker. So in this video I will let you know what this Echo consists of, how to use it and what different kind of projects you can make using this product. So without wasting any further time let's quickly unbox this product. This video is sponsored by LTM which is a PCB designer software company. LTM has all the tools that you need to design a professional PCB with high productivity. And well, it is widely used in big electronic companies like Texas Instruments, Siemens, SIGET and many more for their PCB designs. It has advanced routing features, real-time cost estimations and also you can design your own flexible PCBs using this software. So this is an all-in-one professional PCB designing software for all your needs. So go ahead and try your hands on with this software. A free trial version is waiting for you. Now click on the link mentioned in the description to get a free trial of LTM Designer software. So the packaging of this product is exactly the same as that of M5 Atom and Atom Lite that we have already seen in our previous video. So you can consider it as a member of M5 Atom family as it got the same configuration as that of Atom and Atom Lite. Now if we compare all the three configuration then the Atom Echo got the same CPU, same flash memory and almost all the things are exactly the same. But if we compare the Atom Lite and Atom Echo then the major difference is Atom Echo has built in microphone and speaker in it which opens up a lot of opportunities for making smart projects. So that was all about the hardware configuration part of the product. Now let us see what we can make using this particular Atom Echo. Now before jumping into the programming part of this product, let me tell you this Atom Echo comes with a pre-programmed firmware which makes this product act like a Bluetooth speaker. Yes, a tiny little Bluetooth speaker that we can use straight away. Let me show you a demo. So first of all, I'll power up this Atom Echo with a Type-C cable. And after that, in my smartphone, I'll open up the Bluetooth settings. And as you can see, my smartphone found a new Bluetooth device with the name M5 Speaker T1. I'll straight away connect my phone with this one. That's it, our phone got connected with the speaker. Now let's just play the music. Great, so we are able to listen music straight from this tiny little Bluetooth speaker. Well, I know the sound is not that good, it's like very very low but well what you can expect from this tiny little device. And furthermore, it is not just a Bluetooth speaker, the Bluetooth speaker is just one of the feature of this product and well we have so many other features to use. So now to use all other features, let us straight away jump onto Arduino ID and see how to program this tiny little device. So here is the Arduino ID. Now before starting this tutorial, I assume that you already have ESP32 board packages installed on your system. If not, kindly watch out this video, link is in the i button as well as in the description in which I am guiding you about how to install ESP32 boards packages onto your Arduino ID. And if you are already installed, then I will suggest you to kindly update that boards, okay? So that's the prerequisite for this particular video. After having that uh, uh, ESP32 related boards, uh, you still need to download one more thing and that is the library for M5 Atom. And for that, you need to go to sketch, into include library, into manage libraries. Here's a search for M5 Atom and just install this library. That's it. Just click on the close button. After that, along with the library, you will also get some of the example code uh, to be used for this Atom Echo and other Atom devices. Okay. For that, you need to go to files, into examples, into M5 Atom. So here we have two sections, basics and echo. So basics code will work on other atom boards as well including atom echo okay so we have three devices atom uh, matrix atom light and atom echo so on the three devices this basic example codes will work like testing the butter testing the led and testing the mpu built-in stuff like that okay but i already tested this example projects example codes in my previous video so 
kindly watch out that video for that uh, we will uh, particularly focus on echo example codes for this video out of them i won't be explaining this echo rest code because echo rest code is all about that uh, home automation related stuff and i still need to you know explore that stuff about how we can control appliances using like uh, making this M5 atom as a voice assistant, okay? I'll still need to like figure it out. So for this video, I'll be running the example called play music, okay? Let us open the example. So this is the example code by uploading which we'll be able to play music on our M5 atom echo, okay? And the music file is already provided here in .c format, okay? So if you want your particular like custom uh, music file to be played, you first need to convert it in a hexadecimal format like paste here, paste that file here, and after that you need to upload this code, okay? So I won't be changing anything in this code, I will straight away upload this, but uh, to upload this code, uh, there is no M5 Atom board available under ESP32 package. Then how we can upload the code? Well, the steps are already mentioned in the code itself. So here as it is mentioned as, we have to select the board as M5 stick C, and upload speed we can choose from any of these three and the partition scheme should be no OTA okay so you need to follow all these three steps to upload the code and let's just follow one by one so first of all we we'll select the board as M5 stick C which in my case is already selected upload speed is set to 15 lakh and partition scheme is set to no, it, no OTA okay and after that I will select the right board and directly hit the upload button so as soon as the code gets uploaded we will be able to hear music from this tiny little smart speaker Okay, so code is successfully uploaded and music started playing on this device. Listen carefully. It's like some Chinese music. But yeah, the, this, this is example code to test the speaker and speaker is perfectly working on this Akamato and we are able to listen that song in a loop, okay? So yeah, it's perfectly working. But there are only two, let me just unplug this. Okay. But there are only two example codes provided on this uh, uh, Arduino IDE example, okay? Uh, so we already tested the speaker, but what about the microphone? We haven't tested it yet. No worry, we still have one more example code in which we can test both mic and speaker simultaneously. Let me show you that example code. So here's the example code called repeater, okay? Now I'll attach the link of this particular example code in the uh, description of this video. So let's just uh, simply copy this code. And let's just create a new file. And paste that code here. Okay. Uh, let me just reconnect my uh, Atom Echo with the USB cable. And after that I'll simply click the upload button as the boards and everything are already selected. Okay, so this example is kind of a talking Tom application that we all have already used on our smartphone, okay? We utter something and that particular voice is all repeated by that particular character, okay? This is the same code, but in this code, uh, there is no voice modulation. Whatever we speak, we'll be able to hear in our voice only, okay? So the code is successfully uploaded. Let's just test this example code as well. So, so for testing, we need to press and hold this button and then we need to speak out. Uh, the mic will be listening and storing that audio. And as soon as we like release the button, that same audio will be played again by the speaker built into the system. Okay, let's just try it out. Hello from Sachin. Let's just say any other thing. Explore, learn, share. Yeah, I'm able to listen to what I'm saying. Let's just try it out once more, once more. like. Please subscribe. <laughs> okay, so this is the second example code which whose link I will be definitely mentioning. So using this, we are able to test both the microphones and the speakers. And yeah, this Atom Echo is perfectly working uh, according to the code. Okay, so yeah, this was the basic testing of this Atom Echo product, and the results are it's working completely fine. And well, the point which I didn't like is. Of course, the speaker quality is a bit low. And second thing, the company has provided very, very less example codes just to get, you know, start making the projects out of it, okay? And yes, there was one more example called Echo Rest using which uh, we will be able to control the devices, but there is no particular tutorial provided or any uh, explanation provided in the code. So I had to study that code, understand it, and uh, need to like, uh, uh, you know, explore that code. And after that, I will definitely share you the results on my YouTube channel. So yeah, that was it about this uh, testing part of this product.
Okay, so that was the quick unboxing and getting started video for this Atom Echo. And I really found this Atom series very interesting, very exciting because they have shrinked down all the devices in very, very, very small and compact size and they all look really very cute. I personally love this Atom series and I really want to, I'm really expecting more such Atom devices. I really love that. Now talking particularly about Atom Echo then, well obviously the speaker is not that much good like uh, it is audible when there is silence in the room, when there is noise room it is hardly audible so yes speaker is uh, uh, not that good but talking about the use case of this product then yes uh, I am expecting or rather I am planning to use this product as a smart speaker in which I can just uh, you know press the button and say this Atom Echo that hey Atom Echo turn on the light and like it turned on. I want to implement that smart feature in this and for that feature this is a perfect device like we can make our own assistant our own smart assistant using this tiny little device. I am really looking further to make this project and as soon as this project is completed I will soon upload it onto my YouTube channel so just subscribe the channel if you don't want to miss out the tiny little smart assistant. So yeah for that smart features I will definitely recommend uh, getting one Atom Echo for you it is really worth it. And that was my first impression unboxing and getting started video for Atom Echo. I hope you liked this video and I hope you got to know so many new things out of it. If is it so, consider liking this video. If you like this video, the YouTube algorithm will share this video as much as it can, okay? So do like it. Do comment below about which feature uh, you like the most regarding the product. And one more thing, what projects you are planning to make by using this particular Atom Echo? Let me know your suggestion, your thoughts in the comments of the video. That being said, ending this video here. Now just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me. Techie SMS.